this is a gift that has been given to you as well, right? Because like, what are the chances of you, as you said, like, you know, coming through it and having that courage to step in and do something out of your norm while you have all these sort of stuff going on in your family, right? So it is a gift, a courage, a blessing, a facilitation by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So something like for you to think about as well. Now that you have this blessing and this gift, it does not mean that the gift cannot be taken away. Right? You are in charge, you have to protect that. First and foremost for yourself, and then as you said, for your family as well. Right? At least expose them to it, make them aware of it, and then it's their free choice, of course. Right? Now what happens is, when you go out of here, right? people won't talk about these things. They won't remind you of Adam, or this is paradise, or hellfire, angels, Satan, none of that, right? What people would do is proactively call you towards their products, their services, vacations, car, gadgets, clothing, all these things, right? And they'll say, okay, money is what will get you there, and this whole constant thing. They'll send you the bills that you owe them, everything will continue to happen, right? Now, it's your thing that as you take care of those things which are related to your body, your external appearances and your external belongings, it is upon you to take care of your internal as well, your soul, right? Which will always be with you, right? Because the body can be weak or strong, beautiful or ugly, right? And notorious over time, but the soul stays with you. The soul is the one that will depart and the body remains on earth and it mixes with the earth, right? And the soul is given a new body in the new world after death and it feels the pain and it feels the pleasure, right? So now you are the one who is responsible for that. We are here to assist you. You are here to assist us. As brothers, as Muslims, we assist each other and we remind them towards the path of Allah, right? But essentially, the responsibility belongs to you. Right? So my recommendation is first and foremost is to always ask Allah for help. If you think something is hard, if you think prayer is hard, if you think making time for Allah is hard, ask Him. Oh Allah, how you facilitated for me, make it easy for me. And just like how Adam was, you know, you forget, you remember, you ask Allah for help. Right? And then to have some sort of a commitment, either daily or weekly, where you can make take steps towards Allah. Right? It could be reading, learning, watching, you know, having those five daily prayers with Allah once, twice, thrice, but it should not go to zero. It should always be going up. Right? Ideally you want to start with five prayers. Right? That's what you're obligated Ideally. to do. That's what you're obligated to do. Day. Right? Every day there are five meetings with Allah. They take like five minutes. Mm -hmm. Right? But to have a right mindset is important. Right? When you go and have a meeting with a client for a job interview, right, there's expectation that because of that meeting, more trust will be developed, right? More opportunities will come, more business will come, right or wrong. Sure. So how can it be that we go in a meeting with Allah and we come empty handed? Right? There are many narrations of like how prayer cleanses you, removes your sins, becomes light for you in the gra grave, you know, it brings you closer to Allah. But I'm just saying, essentially speaking, you're going to meet Allah. How can it be that you come without precious gifts? That does not befit the majesty of Allah, right? So prayers itself will help you. And that's the only thing. Like, you know, from a religion, basically what I'm saying is, the, like the minimum you can do is like five or 10 minutes of your exposure to Quran, right? Or a lecture that talks about, that explains one verse or two words of Quran, that gives you some knowledge about Allah. Right? Both for me hmm. is essential. Right. As far as the say online lecture and and in personal Absolutely. because I will probably have questions. Only yes. a fool does not right. ask questions, right? Which I can't not that you can't get from the online. No, no, yeah, because this is like you know, your direct thing, you know, what right. what's benefit and then somebody right. understands you where you are, what are the challenges. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is there's no there's no substitute for that. Yeah. Right? This is just that, you know, the side motivation, inspiration sure. as it's going on. So you're remembering the things, you're not like forgetting about those things. You're yes. aware and yes. not unaware, right? Yes. So those type of things. And here, like we have classes, it happens, especially for, you know, new beginners, you know, the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him, on Friday nights, different events that are going on, right? But what, what's, what, what I want you to do is like kind of come up with some sort of options that say, hey, is where, you know what, I can do like. Certain responsibilities. And normally, Sunday, I will go right through too. Right. So do you, should I just like hook you up with a few apps if you don't mind? 100% please. Okay, so there's an app called Pray Space. Uh, Prayer Time, which is, which you see as uh, Fajr. 
Yeah, right? 423 a.m. 423. So it starts at 423 and then it ends at? No. Oh, you mean the oh the first one? The, the sunrise, sunrise, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sunrise. Yeah. Five fifty-six. Yeah. Right. So between this interval, you just have to pray two two units. So it says that look, fajr two units. Right. So right now we prayed mm -hmm. four units. Okay. So, so one so, unit, a full unit is. So is this thing right? So stand, bow, stand up again, prostrate, do it again, another prostration, mm -hmm. and then that's one unit. So this is actually going to walk you through, we'll, and then we'll, we'll see it in the app too. But for now, just, right, so these are the chapters of Quran. You can go open on anything, and then you can read the translation. Right, so you can read the translation, right? You can actually play it too. So you okay, can, so you will hear it. Okay. 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 Right. So you can listen to it. You can read it. And as you see, what's happening is that it's actually giving you translation and transliteration. Right. So it's basically using the Roman letters to kind of get you close to the pronunciation of that. Right. Down here. Yes. This is the translation. Yeah. And this is the transliteration. Okay. Right. Because you can kind of read that. Like how we say assalamu alaikum, right? You teach type assalamu alaikum, right? Yeah. In English, which is an Arabic word, right? Mm -hmm. But you just use the English letters to type it. Mm -hmm. So like that. Um, yeah. So that if you go on your WhatsApp, I've sent you a link for pray space. Yes, I saw that. So if you click on it, I think it should open the you to go. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, no problem. Yeah. So basically let me know when you are available and then you know. Okay, we we'll work it out. And Indeed. here's a translation and uh, books for you, companions. All right. So now the ball is in your court. Okay. Are you gonna come for a Friday prayer tomorrow? Yes. Uh, One thirty. Uh, uh, yeah, he I told uh, should, uh, should be there. Okay, he's coming. Unless some crazy stuff happened, but yeah, he's coming. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. See, so is this like, see so this is a volunteer role for you? Like you're not right now. You're not working for now.